everyone, happy Wednesday, I think. So we've had a bit of a line this morning until about seven, so um, I managed to do my hair and everything, which is completely pointless because it's so humid outside, it's just gonna go as soon as you step outside the door. I'm wearing a little dress that I bought from the market yesterday. This was a grand total of about three pounds. So uh, yeah, it's really light and airy, so I just thought I'd wear it during the day instead of in the evening. And I'm just packing up my suitcase because we've got to leave that outside the room because we're moving again tonight to a different hotel. So yeah, all in all, quite a nice morning. I'm feeling pretty awake even though my eye bags are still here. I'm just gonna whack on a bit of foundation when I get outside into some natural light. Um, and then I'm gonna run down and grab a quick breakfast before we head off. I think it's more markets today and more sort of like cultural projects and, oh, floating market. That's what we're doing today, floating market. Very much looking forward to that. It's meant to be really pretty. So um, yeah, bring it on. Yeah, oh, it is remember you got picture. some Yeah. <laughs> So we've arrived at the floating market and apparently this is only on for six days a month and today is a Wednesday so it's not actually that busy but the weekend are the busy days. But they're all just sat on the boat selling all their produce and you sail on a boat down the river and buy everything that you want from the different stores. It's really interesting. Oh. Why do we not get hats? <laughs> so we're actually on the boat now and it, um, it's rocking quite a bit. <laughs> Everybody sit still. <laughs> now I really feel the part, even though it doesn't fit on my head. <laughs> Everybody looks the part. <laughs> I love that, Emma, I love how you got yours on top of your, on top of your bun. <laughs> That was so nice, it was really peaceful. I am so hot now, so I'm ready to get back in the bus with the aircon. I'm really confused why we're here, but um, here's some sheep and stuff. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I want to feed it. We get to feed it. <laughs> Nobody wants my carrots. This is a Yeah, sheepy. This is, this is a carrot. Oh. This is a carrot. Oh no. I spoke too soon. Oh They're coming for me. <laughs> They're coming for me. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Lunch time. Look at the fish. <laughs> So we're at another market now, um, but this is mostly for local produce and fruit and vegetables and that kind of thing. So no more elephant pants today. How are your squatting skills? <laughs> Wish me luck. So we have arrived at our next hotel, the Sampran Riverside, and we've actually got about three hours of free time, which honestly, guys, this never happens. So I'm very excited because the sun is out and they have a gorgeous pool. So I'm gonna pop my bikini on. I'm gonna head down to the pool. I'm gonna catch a few rays of sun with um, a beer by the pool. Oh, nice bathroom. Having to sneak around. Um, yeah, I'm gonna catch some sunshine by the pool with a beer, answer some emails, and uh, yeah, just enjoy myself for a little bit because it's been pretty full on so far. Oh my goodness. Just look at this. It's paradise. And I'm the only one here. I don't think I ever want to leave this place. I think I'll stay here forever. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna stay right here forever. If you could just ship the dog over, that'd be great. That was a nice little couple of hours outside in the sunshine. I feel nice and regenerated. So I'm back in the pool now. I've um, got about half an hour just to have a shower, do something with this and put some clothes on. And then I think we have a hotel tour before dinner. So I'm just about to go down for dinner. I've got like the oldest dress on ever from Matalan. <laughs> um, but this is my view out of my room. Can you believe it? It's unbelievable. So apparently tomorrow we're going to be um, sailing across the river to go and have a look at the conservation and the agriculture farm that they've got over there. Because apparently they grow all their own vegetables. Um, and then we're going to be bringing stuff back over here for a cookery class, which I'm really excited about. So yeah, it's been such a lovely day today, very relaxed day, which is incredibly rare on press trips. Um, but yeah, looking forward to dinner tonight, getting quite hungry, a couple of beers and then an early bed, I think. Oh my god, this looks so good. Morning. 
morning everybody happy thursday i think it is today i've put a teaspoon from the tea and coffee thing in the uh mini bar freezer to try and get my eye bags down i can't show you look how bad they are my goodness me they just seem to be getting worse i think i'm just getting more jet lagged and my skin has broken out something terrible because it's just so hot and humid i'm having to put sun cream on my face and stuff Ugh pores are very congested although I did use that scrub that we made the other day in the uh, workshop in the spa workshop and it worked a treat it was really good and I've got some of that alpha h rose gold um that I was banging on about on my blog from the titty box really really good stuff I used that last night anyway um I've got about 10 minutes <laughs> <laughs> to put some makeup on, do some in my hair. I think I'm gonna have it up today because we're doing a cooking class, which I'm very much excited for. Then I'm gonna run downstairs, grab a quick coffee and some pastries, and then crack on with the day. Look at my messy room. <laughs> We've got two beds in this one, so that's the crap bed and that's the sleeping bed. Um, but we're checking out about 4 p.m. today, so we don't have to pack just yet, so we can come back later on and pack. Uh, and then we're heading back to Bangkok later on today, which is good. And apparently, the next hotel we're staying in is amazing and we're there for two nights which is really good because it means that we can kind of unpack and repack suitcases so yeah i'm excited for today really really excited for the cooking class but now breakfast so we're off on another boat today and we're going to go across the river and see the organic farm where they make all the rice and the fruits and vegetables that they use in the hotel um, and then we're going to learn how to cook everything all oh, very stylish <laughs> <laughs> so we're picking our own fruits and vegetables and herbs that we can use in the cooking class later. So you make your own, you know, you make your own uh, hormone, pesticide, fertilizer. <laughs> Okay. Yay! It's so beautiful and so peaceful out here. I feel like we could just keep walking round and picking fruits and kaffir lime leaves and sweet basil for ages. I've kind of got used to the heat as well. I've just kind of got used to the fact that I'm just constantly sweaty. So uh, <laughs> I really, really want to see more of it. Every time I come to Thailand, I just feel like I'm addicted to it and I need to see more of it. I'd love to go to Chiang Mai and Koh Samui, but this has really sort of opened my eyes as to kind of like Bangkok and just outside of Bangkok you kind of think of Bangkok as party central and the hangover and all that kind of stuff but actually if you come just a little bit out you get all of this beautiful cultural stuff it's amazing we've just been planting rice in the rice fields um, and it's actually a Tesco Lotus Academy so Tesco buy the rice from here so I've just been planting some so in 110 days time you can probably buy my rice in Tesco how cool is that I really want to just go and run and jump in the pool right now it's so hot but alas it is now time for our cooking class uh, so we can make our lunch and actually eat today and <laughs> we're going to use all the vegetables and all the herbs uh, that we picked in the farm which is really cool very cool indeed oh wow this is where we're going to be doing our cooking class beautiful so we're making tom yum soup papaya salad uh pad thai and something else i forgot which is worrying because that's what my team is doing um, but it seems to be going along well oh chicken satay oh. see mm. you can see the pepper there oh that Ooh, pad thai looks so good i'm worried that we're going to be putting them all out of a job because we've we've done so well <laughs> So the food and beverage manager is now tasting all of our dishes to see which one's the best. No pressure. Currently tied, we need more than seven points to win. Tension is killing me. Oh! What? Oh, man! Put my soul into that side. Thanks a lot. Team didn't win. Um, our papaya salad let us down. So yeah, never mind. It's the taking part that counts, isn't it? That's what Lucy said. 
Well, lunch was absolutely delicious. Yeah. And now we're going to go and do another body scrub workshop. We're going to be scrubbed within an inch of our lives by the end of this trip. But I actually used the scrub that we made the other day, the other night, on my face. And it worked really well. It's very nice, actually. I put rose oil in mine, so it's really good for reducing redness. <sighs> it's been such a lovely day already so far. I love that. So this is the Thai village part of the resort where you can learn about the Thai way of life. You can make pottery, you can make herbal bombs like we did the other day. Um, you can watch some Thai boxing, you do some traditional weaving. Hello. You can just pretty much educate yourself in everything Thai. <laughs> That is not the best elephant you've ever seen. <laughs> okay, so we're back in the room. I've got a, I've got half an hour to pack this, shower, get ready for dinner. Then we're going to take a few last pictures around the resort, and then we're heading in the minibus back to Bangkok and straight to dinner at an apparently quite a cool restaurant tonight. So yeah, today's been really fun. I don't think my elephant's going to survive the journey home because apparently they take about two days to go hard. So. I have a feeling that he's just gonna be a big ball of clay mush by the time I get home, but um, it was fun trying. Done and ready with about five minutes to spare. I'm getting on so good at getting ready <laughs> super quickly on these press trips. This is a dress from Primark that Chris treated me to um, a couple of months ago and yeah, nothing else to my old my sandals from Primark as well. I really need to get some new sandals, but I feel like now's not the time to buy them because obviously we're going into winter, but I kind of just wear the same brown ones and same black ones just in rotation. But anyway, I think uh, me and two of the other girls are going to go and take a few photos because it's really beautiful here. Uh, and then we're going to get on the bus. So we're back in Bangkok and the traffic has been crazy, um, but we've come for dinner now at a restaurant called 8020. It is so cool in here. I've got to show you around. So we've just got to our final hotel of the trip, which is the Como Metropolitan in Bangkok. And it is absolutely gorgeous. Look, I have a sofa and a sitting area and then a gigantic bed and fruit and an espresso machine. And I haven't even looked at the bathroom. Ah. <laughs> a walk-in, bath, shower, round here, and then the toilet all the way over there. Wow, okay. This is our home for the next two nights. I think we're gonna be quite comfortable here. Let's jump on the bed. <laughs> There's even a yoga mat in the wardrobe. So if you feel like getting your wellness on inside your room, you can do that. <sighs> this is the life, guys. This is the place you need to stay in if you come to Bangkok. Oh my goodness. Good morning everybody, happy Friday and our last full day. Oh wait, the lift's opening. There's no one in there. Our last full day in Bangkok. Um, the hotel is gorgeous. 
absolutely gorgeous. I had the best night's sleep in the big bed. I could just spoke or talk to you there. Um, and yeah, we're off to see some museums, I think, today and then get another treatment. And then it's our final dinner all together because everyone's leaving at different times tomorrow. So yeah, it's been a great week. I'm looking forward to today. The weather doesn't look that great, so I didn't bother washing my hair. But I did that thing that I still don't know how I've managed two times in a row. So uh, yeah, anyway, I've got about 20 minutes for breakfast. So I'm gonna head there now and grab a coffee and get ready for the day. Yeah, oh my goodness, the breakfast is so good. Well, we weren't allowed to film inside the museum, but um, you didn't miss much. It was just kind of a rundown of um, Thai history and culture, which was actually quite interesting. We learned a lot about the Emerald Buddha and how they change its clothes depending on the season and a lot about the king and the monarchy and yeah it was actually pretty interesting as far as museums go <laughs> um, so now we're stopping off for lunch and surprisingly i'm hungry already it's about oh it's quarter to one goodness me where is the morning gone um and then this afternoon we're going for another spa treatment <laughs> Yeah. Do a whole spoon. Yeah, I've just been there. No. It's like I'm drinking candles. And it's pretty grim. Eat it. Eat it. I like the milk. But the milk's alright. No. So this is um it's water chestnuts that have been smoked with a candle and then it's in coconut milk and it's just yeah, it, it just tastes like a candle. <laughs> so before our spa treatments, we're actually going to a bronze factory to learn how they do a lot of bronze stuff. I don't know what we're doing now. I've lost track. I'm just going where I'm told. I love these. Oh my god. Wow. I love these for the black. Oh, the, uh, oh yeah. Those are lovely. Love yeah. oh, no. so these guys are the only ones in Bangkok still using this method to make them in this way. It's very noisy, but it's incredibly interesting. So we're currently um, finding out like our weight and our supposed biological age and we're doing all kinds of different tests. So far I found out that I'm fat and I need to exercise. <laughs> it's not yeah, going well so far. Fat. It's not going well so far for me. This is um, quite possibly the most depressing beauty treatment I've ever had. Um, yeah. I may, as, I may as well just put me down, essentially. I've uh, just had a facial with cold lasers and to be fair, my face does feel good. It was a bit weird um, and I didn't know what was going on for half of it. Um, but yeah, it feels, it feels okay, it feels good. Although my self-esteem is destroyed by the fact that I'm fat and need to exercise. So um, yeah, interesting. Oh, I'm all steamy. So we've just been sat in our little bus for about 20 minutes and we haven't moved because this is the traffic right now. So we've all decided to get out of the bus and walk to the restaurant, even though it's pissing it down with rain and the humidity is steaming up my camera. Ah, when in Bangkok. Oh, and all the motorbikes are now driving on the pavement because that's apparently legal. This is turning into such a random day. Um, now we're in a tuk-tuk just because today you can't get any more random. <laughs> we made it to dinner, hooray! Hey team, sorry my battery ran out halfway through dinner, um, but we had a lovely meal at a restaurant I can't remember the name of because it was all a bit of a blur trying to get there, running through the streets and then being picked up by a tuk-tuk with our guide hanging out the side saying, hop on everybody. It was, um, it's been a strange day, put it that way. Um, so it's about 10 o'clock at night and we're all absolutely knackered, but it's our last night um, together as a group because everybody's leaving at different times tomorrow. So we have decided to go for a drink at the Sky Bar, which is at the hotel next door. I think it's called the banyan tree um, and it's meant to be really really pretty up there so 
Okay, we've all got changed. I've just got this little uh, over off the shoulder top from Primark, this beautiful skirt from Primark that Chris bought me, I think, um, and then some clothes shoes, because you need them, apparently. And then these are from Primark as well, and then my little lotus flower necklace. And my hair is still as disgusting as it was earlier, and I've just literally whacked on some eyeliner and some lipstick, <laughs> because I don't have time. My skin actually feels amazing after that facial earlier even though it wasn't the most luxurious it was like very clinical but i feel like she's done wonders even though it felt like she was hardly touching my face it was strange um but i like the result anyway so yeah we're gonna go and probably have a very overpriced cocktail but sod it you're only in bangkok once or every now and again in the case of most of the people on the trip who seem to be here all the time um but i this is my first time here so i thought i'd just go out Oh, it's been a strange day, a really, really strange day, um, but a nice one nonetheless. So yeah, let's go and get our party on. It's not gonna be a party. I've literally got a cup of mint tea. It's actually mint lotus tea um, here, because <laughs> I'm an old lady. Um, and I could quite easily go to bed, if I'm completely honest. Uh, but no, we're making an effort and we're going out and being social. Although that bed does look very inviting right now. Stood there. 59 floor. Woo woo! So the menus light up because they don't want any light pollution. So you're posing for pictures and video at the same time. They don't want any light pollution because look at the view. Oh my goodness. It feels a bit dizzy actually up here. It's amazing though captured by anything by a, but our no, eyes. Go, smile and be happy. Smile, smile. <laughs> Cheers! I don't want to knock it. Woo -hoo. Are you a photographer? Are you a photographer? <laughs> Good morning everybody, happy Saturday. All I can smell is curry powder. <laughs> or curry paste from those paste that I bought Chris that were in my suitcase. I hope they haven't popped. No, they still feel quite... Oh dear. Um, yeah, I'm going to go and get an extra plastic bag today and make sure they're wrapped up because my entire suitcase is going to stink when I get home. Um, so today is the last day. We leave today. Today is actually an epic day of travel. They've changed a few flights around, so I actually don't get in um, as early as I thought I did. I thought it would be... I would have a lot more weekend than I have, so it's a bit annoying, but never mind. Um, I get to see Chris and Toby tomorrow, so yeah, I leave the airport at about half five, to, uh, leave the hotel at half five today, fly at half eight at night, fly all the way overnight for 15 hours, <laughs> stop off in, stopping off in Qatar, um, and then I get in at like 7 a.m. tomorrow, so the next time I sleep in a bed will be tomorrow night, which is a bit depressing when you think about that, but hey, it's what you gotta do. Um, it's about nine o'clock this morning. I'm gonna head down for breakfast. There was an optional yoga class for everyone today, but we were all like, no. <laughs> I'll see you at breakfast at nine. So the breakfast here is really, really good as well. I had like smoked salmon and avocado on toast yesterday and a slow latte. I might have pancakes or something today. Um, yeah, so I'm just in my elephant pant jumpsuit because it's really easy. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna go down for breakfast, have some coffee. I really feel like I need it. Today is going to be a long day, um, but they have organised a massage for us at about half past ten, so yeah, looking forward to that. Oh, it's been a lovely trip, really, really, really lovely trip. I feel like I've, like, I feel like my old self again, which is just wonderful. Um, it's been really sort of invigorating, inspiring and uh, motivating for me, which is exactly what I needed. Um, yeah, not looking forward to packing that though. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that was so relaxing. It's possibly one of the best ones we've had. Oh, I feel like I'm in a bit of a daze, um, but I think the sun is out. So I'm gonna head down to the pool and just sit by the pool for a little bit, I think. Um, yeah, so but they've got a really nice poolside, so probably like half an hour there. And then I'm gonna come up here and start getting ready. Washing my hair and packing bags and everything just before lunch. They've just done the room actually, so I need to take a few pictures of this because this is a really great hotel. Definitely recommend staying here if you're in Bangkok. 
Uh, yeah. Oh, well, I, I, sorry, I feel like I'm in a bit of a trance. Quick change into shorts and t-shirt, and now it's down for lunch. Lunch is in two minutes, I need to get a wiggle on. And then I need to figure out what I'm doing. I think I'm just gonna go to some of the um, like shops close by to here, because I haven't got time to go to the big market, which I really want to do, and some of the other girls are doing. Um, so I'm gonna go to some shops close to here, have a look around, see if there's anything for like presents for people, and then come back, wash my hair, pack, and it'll be time to go. So yeah, it's whizzing by this last day. But for some reason, I'm hungry already. It's like 1, 1 p.m., had breakfast at nine, but I am still starving. That's the problem with press trips, you just keep eating and then you get used to eating and you have to eat all the time. <sighs> I'm gonna be so fat. Well, the lady yesterday at the spa told me I was fat, didn't she? So, <laughs> she was right. Hey team, so I'm all ready to go. Bought some elephant pants at the market. Nice, some more. I live in these, they're so comfortable. Um, and I'm traveling back in them because, you know, comfort. Uh, I'm all packed, expert packing skills over there, just literally waiting for my straighteners to finish cooling before I stick those in. And then I'm heading down because we're leaving in about 20 minutes. Got about three hours until my flight. So yeah, it shouldn't be too long sort of hanging around at the airport. Um, but yeah, can't believe it's time to go home already. The thunder has started to roll in, so. It's absolutely pelting it down. It looks like um, the weather's pretty much turning for the rest of the week. So we timed it pretty well with the with weather. We've been, we've been quite lucky. So uh, yeah, I've not got any makeup on. I've got my makeup in my bag because I'm basically just gonna be traveling overnight. That's annoying, isn't it? Gonna be traveling overnight and I'm um, getting in tomorrow morning. So uh, yeah, I'm not gonna be looking in the best of states anyway. So I kind of thought maybe I could put a little bit of makeup on before I see Chris, not that I need to, um, but just, you know, spruce myself off a bit. Um, but this lets your skin breathe, doesn't it, on the airport, it, on, the, on the airplane when you haven't got anything on. Anyway, I'm rambling, I'm a bit lonely today. <laughs> I spent the last two hours just on my own getting ready and packing and washing my hair. I feel like I need to talk to a human. So I'm gonna go downstairs, see if anyone's hanging around and say goodbye. To everybody, everybody that's left, I've said goodbye already to quite a few people. It's a really lovely group, really lovely group, great trip, but I am very much looking forward to getting home now. I'm not sure how much I'm gonna film of the journey home, because I'm knackered and I kind of just wanna settle down in my seat and watch a few films and then try and get some sleep on the second leg. And it's always quite stressful when like you're running through the airport with a camera, your passport, your bag, um, and my J pillow, obviously. So yeah. If I don't speak to you before, I'll see you in England. everybody sorry I didn't film anything yesterday I had a lovely greeting from Chris at the airport and then Toby went mad when he saw me and so did Archie when we got home and yeah I just kind of spent a jet lagged days in front of the TV watched a bit of Black Mirror had a takeaway caught up with each other sort of had a bottle of wine and just went to bed I was kind of up all night sort of waking I think I woke up at 4 a.m and then forced myself back to sleep and now it's about 7 and I feel like crazy awake like it's about midday which it probably is yeah I feel very jet lagged very confused today um <clears throat> but I'm gonna start cracking on with editing all this so I'm gonna leave it here I hope you enjoyed this week's weekly vlog I know it's been a bit of an odd one um but yeah, I hope you really hope you enjoyed coming along with me, seeing what press trips are all about and seeing a bit of Bangkok. Yeah, I feel I feel good. I feel dazed and tired and jet lagged, but in here I feel great. I feel like it's done me a world of good and I'm just so happy to be home actually. Um Life just feels good, it feels amazing. So thank you so much for all of your comments on last week's vlog, for being so supportive on Instagram, um, to all my lovely patrons, like you've been chatting away in the Facebook group and yeah, life is good. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week, bye. Hopefully I'm gonna get some sleep tomorrow with that and I shall, uh, oh, that looks a bit rude. A little life hack from me to you, from a lily lover to another. Um, duck feet for uh, breakfast. Mrs. Professional just been bombing on the plane.